How do you avoid looking like this in Zoom meetings? I don't mean being ugly, I can't help you with that, I mean the lighting. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio, and in this very quick tutorial, I'll address how to get better lighting to illuminate your face in Zoom meetings. The answer to this is pretty simple. Try to avoid having lights behind your head in the camera view, and do your best to have a light source in front of you. Right now, I'm sitting in front of a window with the blinds closed, and I have a whole bunch of lights behind me on. This creates a very bright background and makes my face look dark. Watch what happens if I open the window in front of me and turn all the lights behind me off. Look at what a difference that makes. I now have much better lighting on my face and the background behind me isn't washed out. So this is good, this is bad. Good, bad. Now, clearly not everyone can just go ahead and rearrange all the furniture or lighting in their house, so not everyone can do this. And if you're a student, I wouldn't worry about it too much for day-to-day -day class. I don't think it's reasonable for schools to expect everyone to rearrange all their furniture. However, if you are a teacher or someone who is giving a lot of presentations, then it is something you'll want to consider. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy a bunch of fancy lighting equipment to do this. Again, it can be as simple as rotating your desk so you are facing a window instead of having a window at your back. If you do have an unavoidable scenario with poor lighting, there's one more thing you can do in Zoom. You can go down to the up arrow next to stop video in the lower left, click that, select your video settings, and then click this adjust for low light checkbox. So that is going to just brighten the entire image a bit, which will brighten up your face, but is also going to brighten the background. So again, as much as possible, you want to avoid a scenario where you have bright lights directly behind your head. This setting is going to do more if you're in a room that's just dark in general. All right, as promised, that was a very quick tutorial. I do have a playlist with a lot more tutorials and details about teaching and learning online with Zoom. You can find that linked in the description below this video and in one of these corners on the end screen. I'm not sure where it'll wind up. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below this video. Thank you.